first there time. was just a chemistry with them that like it had me i was in yeah. from i'd say like two minutes in i was they like okay yeah i'm not going to the fridge for anything no and you know i i think um buddy matthews is i, I don't like think a brick shit <laughs> Yes. Oh, yes. But I don't think people appreciate how good Buddy is. Mm. Buddy has always been seen as a guy that makes others look good. Mm -hmm. But you and I both know that it takes two to tango. Yeah. Um, But Buddy is just a very... he, He has this ability just because he has so much body control for a guy the size of him yeah, that's he pretty, makes pretty fucking everything look fantastic, and yeah. I think Buddy Matthews is, when it comes to the sheer ability and athleticism, I think Buddy Matthews is one of the best in this current era, and right. not because we're in a group, not because he's one of my best friends, but just sure. from a no. pro wrestling standpoint, from being in the ring with him, from from from. You know, him, him and me have a lot of very similar philosophies in wrestling. Him and me talk a lot, obviously, wrestling. And, you know, okay. we'll butt heads. But all well, for the most part, like, you know, we have a very same idea on selling. We have a very same idea on psychology. We have a very same idea of, like, how to implement what. Uh, very detailed. And um, I, I generally think that people need to realize how, how damn good he is. Like, he, yeah. he's really, really something unique. He's like, you know... AW is known for having very like, you know, hyper focused, crazy matches, uh, a lot of content in, in, in matches. And, um, yeah. you know, um, and, and realistically, they did four things and they told a story about an arm and a leg and they yeah. sold. And that's yeah. all they did. Yeah. Right. right? And and I think, that, yes. And I think that's why out. it stood out because a lot of things yeah. I feel personally, again, not a knock on anyone, but I feel like a lot of things in, in, in wrestling uh, get lost in translation because there's no time to acknowledge. There's no acknowledgement. Okay. There is no, I got punched in the face and three minutes later you're going, oh, this still hurts. Yeah. You know, yeah. it happens. And a second later we've forgotten about it. And yes. I think that's something that I personally think fundamentally yeah. in wrestling is very wrong. Uh, I again, completely agree. Pulling it to the younger generation, and they, you know, it's up to guys like us to, you know, obviously also educate and stuff. But there needs to be a willingness to learn, and there also needs to be a platform to, you know, engage in these conversations. Um, and it's sometimes, uh, you know, w- with a hectic day as like television, it's very difficult to sit down with people and like talk to people of because course. everything happens lightning fast. Things change at last minute, so it's really no one's fault. Um, no, okay. I hope that a lot of people ha- see that match and go, all right, what made it great? Yeah. It's the selling and the story that yeah. made it great because there was consistency throughout the whole match. It wasn't just, I'm selling my leg 10 seconds later, I'm running like nothing's happened. And now all of a sudden I get, you know, here we go back to the leg. Right. No, no, no. And even the running was, you know, right. I, I, I would, I would tie that like, you know, with myself and Tommaso, where Tommaso was, uh, you know, beating the crap out of my leg, I had to find different ways, you know, for instance, the German suplex, I had to put one leg up to tell the story. You know, I had to right. do a one-legged German suplex. Stuff right. like that, where it's continuously throughout. And I think that, you know, that needle and thread, that is the part that makes it digestible because you understand yeah. the story from start to finish. And, it, and, and it's translated through the lens of selling, right? Right. And I well, feel and that is- I think takes time, and it takes yes. not waste. Not no, I think it takes not wasting your time. So, like when you oh, agree, yeah. when they talk about maximizing your minutes, like I think that some people misinterpret it, and then they're like, okay, well, I got to get like my hot tag consists of A, B, and C, and I got to get yeah. A, B, and get that C in, in yeah. there. Yeah. But it really is maximizing your minutes is doing – it's way more nuanced than that. And sometimes mm-hmm. it's doing the selling that other people are glossing over to get to the hot tag stuff to make sure there's enough time on the back end to get it all in. Yeah. And what I think I appreciated the most, and you you maybe put a finger on what it was about that match for me without me knowing it, but was like subconsciously – I didn't, I, I, I could watch it as a fan and that's what I did watch it as. 
And I think that's because they were doing the little things. Yep. So nothing stuck out. I was able to just lose. You know, I was able to lose my uh, self easily. Like my well, suspend my disbelief. Yes. Bam, I'm there. And it was but like, I, okay. So I Go think on. that comes down to the selling part. And I think that, and like, no, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to use a word that I don't mean in an offensive way. But I think you were not insulted by what you're watching in terms of like there was consistency. Yes. Yes. And, yes. and like I think a lot of times people get you know, drawn in and out saying. because there's disconnect and there was yeah. no disconnect. And look, when they came backstage and me and Buddy sat down and, you know, what, what we always do and I've, you know, we've done this since NXT and this is one of the reasons why I loved, you know, NXT and I carry that with me every other company I go to is we sit down and we go, that was great. What can we do better? Yeah. You know, because that's the only way we're going to make a step up from, from that exact moment. It doesn't matter how great it is. What could we have done better? And it's not even because hindsight's twenty twenty. It's because if I get in a similar contextual situation like that, the last time I did A, but we all figured out that B was actually more efficient that way. So uh, let's go with B, you know, or like, and even if it, it might be a transitional cell or any of that stuff. Um, I think that for me was the reason why I'm looking at it in a way like this was one of the, one of my favorite matches so far this year. And that's, and there's been fantastic matches.